Let's take a look at how we can use the molar mass to convert from moles of a compound to grams. You need 2.05 moles of calcium sulfate for a reaction. How many grams do you measure out? This is actually a common type of problem that you might encounter because we need to be able to react things by knowing how many of that item are reacting with something else. But and you know, moles gives us that relationship, gives us a counting number. But grams is something we can actually measure in lab. So moles, it's extremely important so that we can actually compare amounts of the of things in the same uh, quantities. But grams is something more practical as far as measuring out. So we have to be able to work between grams and moles and convert between them. Now, to be able to do this conversion, we need to know the molar mass. So we've calculated the molar mass for calcium sulfate in a previous video. That was 136.141 grams per mole. So that was from a previous video. And it's important that when we're looking at this molar mass, that we can write it as a conversion factor. So we can write that there's 136.141 grams calcium sulfate for every one mole of calcium sulfate. We can also write the inverse that for one mole of calcium sulfate, we have 136.141 grams of calcium sulfate. Notice that I'm labeling extremely well. You want to make sure that you label everything, not just whether grams or moles, but grams or moles of what? Trust me, this is going to save you a lot of time and heartache later in the course. So we have the 2.05 moles of calcium sulfate. So we're starting with moles and we want grams. So we're going to be using this conversion factor right here because we're going to be, that gets us units of grams and it's going to get rid of our units of moles. So I set it up. You can put your moles over one if you would like. I should have labeled this calcium sulfate. This calcium sulfate. I calculate through and I get that I get 279.08905 or about 279 grams of calcium sulfate. So notice I've rounded it to three significant figures because my original measurement here was one, two, three significant figures. You do want to make sure and practice doing these types of conversions. And so I have a few different practice for you to try on your own. So convert 3.56 moles of sodium chloride into grams, 2.18 moles of calcium hydroxide, 6.01 moles of sugar, and 18.00 moles of water.